October 19, 9.42am, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Uh, we're here for the second trial day of Turnabout Samurai. It's actually day three of the game, because the trial started the day after the first investigation, but yeah. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh. She looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. October 19, 10am, District Court, courtroom number 4. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if he'll be that producer. Prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Or that director. The witness state his name and profession. How rude can you get? You don't know me? I'm the director! I make the steel samurai, noob! Ruffle. S -s Salmonella. Uh, I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. The day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailers and ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The timing of Mr. Hammond's death was 2.30pm. According to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. So yeah, we want to start pressing and get a little more information out of this guy. Hold it! Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Still, for will. For will? For what it's, I mean, it's for what it's worth, but I don't know if he's supposed to have pronounced the acronym or if he went, or if he spelled out the letters. For we were, I was pretty busy all that day. Colon open parenthesis. Tell us more about that. Hold it. The employee area? That's right. There was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there, watching the whole thing. LOL. She was chewing on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why did it go on so long? I'm pretty sure Jube already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Alright, that's the limp. Which of course led to me missing my lunch. Ruffs. Ruffs? Rolling on the floor... starving? What exactly did they have for lunch? 
T-bone steak this in cooked summer. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones only in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning the witness, did not eat with them. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trail, so I ended up skipping lunch. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Well, yes. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you what do you want? Sweats audibly. When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Oof. No, uh, um, <laughs> good call. Sweats audibly. I, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. I, uh, wolfed it down then. Ah. A mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. We're in the meeting until around four. No one left their chairs. Hold it. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well... Yeah, not a one. Sweats audibly. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. I mean, you just found out that they took a break a millisecond ago, Phoenix. <laughs> Wait a second. Mr. Vanilla, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops, Ruffle. Well? Um... Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, yeah, I guess I did. We take, we take, no, we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break. One of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well, Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, Edgeworth is laughing. The break. Yeah, fwew, we took a break, Ruffle. It was only 15 minutes. 15! It's only 13 in base 12! Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio 1, lol. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Steams? Yes, and you call this a steamed witness when it is, he's obviously grilled. <laughs> Steams. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Yeah, if we will, we took a break, Ruffle. Hold it! What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm, I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30, that's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. Oh right, the other one was Diva's. Sorry, Divask's plate. See, see, um, Mr. Manella calls her Diva. So obviously her name is a reference to the word Diva. But... I don't know if it's Vasque or Vasquez or Vasque or Va or just a bit maybe it's Va and the whole squares part is silent. I don't know. The Vasque, the producer. I think it's Vasque. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, it's quite a feat. Hold it. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor. Testimony at this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? 
Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? No, the monkey head was in the way. It's impossible. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. Haha! -ha! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again, but I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. Woo me! What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had barred the way. Around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have already seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. Wh what It's over? Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, Given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the steel scam samurai skewered the victim. That's answer the question, but okay. Order. I will have order. I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. The court is adjourned for recess. October 19, 11.04am. District Court. Defendant Lobby Number 1. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what, what's gonna happen to me? It kinda seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. I think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us, and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, here are the children everywhere, after all. I... You... Thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. October 19, 11.15am, District Court, courtroom number 4. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defence might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hacken to the stand. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Oh, right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness! What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. Ugh. Cody? Answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady! I'm Cody Hackens, I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. 
Witness. Uh, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present. Uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Graham for the beard over there? Just... Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. For a bearded gentleman myself. A very long day. Incidentally. Photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. Muffed. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify, he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission, if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid, and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. Alright, bring it with me, wherever I go. Phoenix. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make a note of it in the court record. Cody's camera added to the court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Witnesses account. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods, off the path, so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I kind of lost on the way, though. For about 30 minutes. When I came up by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked! Right before my eyes, my eyes, out came the bad guy! Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. Be gentle, remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Okay, so there's an obvious contradiction here, which is the fact that Cody said he didn't have his camera with him, but like a, a few seconds ago, he told us that he takes his camera with him everywhere he goes. So clearly there's a contradiction of some kind, right? So let's object. OBJECTION! Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring a digital camera wherever you go? You're quite clear about that. Huh? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh, was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, some um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney, no one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What what? Yeah, so I have my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? I like how he also has a sword in court. <laughs> so you did have a camera? And did you use this camera? But why would I use it? I... I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. What I saw. Y yeah I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then... Then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the Steel Samurai rules. Hmm. Ah, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay. Hold it! So why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um... Um... I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. Hold it! So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah, of course! You didn't turn away, not even once? N no! Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah, I I'm getting to that. So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah! 
What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? Uh, how did he do it? With a samurai kick, and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, S -s something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Cody. W what Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah So what? Yeah, you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? Mmph. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the steel samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order. Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. You have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Well, I know why. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Kaya look away from the fight? Well, he hasn't know how to work his camera yet, so he was looking at his camera to figure out how to work it. Yes? Take that! Take that. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. But what's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids. Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. It's smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody? There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet, so you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything is hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right, me means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody hack and testify once more. But very well. Cody? Please tell us about your camera, and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight. Um... Welcome to the real world, kid. No photo? Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. But that's all that happened. Yup. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Alright, so... We're gonna pr press a bit and see what we can figure out. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground. And the Steel Samurai. That's all? Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. Hmm, I would have once I got that lens open. Did you really not take a picture? Not even one? No, you definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody! Listen up, Cody Hackens. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! 
Hey! Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Atkins. It's one of my powers. W wow! This feels great. Y yeah, yeah, I took a picture. You can change your testament to reflect this, Cody? Hmm. You erased them? Y yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm. It's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. Okay, so the pro the thing is, there's no re there's no way he would have actually deleted those pictures because it's a victory scene in every battle till somewhere has won, right? He needs a free scrapbook. Objection! Objection. Cody. What? What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow up with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. He gave it to Mia. He, he didn't give it to you, Phoenix. Huh? Oh, oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wizam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Didn't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all these pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No. Wait. No way. Phoenix? I think we've finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. M Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Yep. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. I mean, the Steel Samurai... lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N -n -n no way! No! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor. The witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Ah, uh, get it? That's a line from a movie. I mean, approximately. A line from a movie. But order! I will have order! Well, witness! I mean, Cody! Is this true? Well, what did you see? Tell the, tell the court what you saw! I... Wah! He's so sad. Sad boy. Cody. That day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. Right? Okay, okay! Y you're right! The, the Steel Samurai f fell down. Then he didn't m move. Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. 
Yet according to a witness's testimony, the stale samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error? What's all this about? To understand what really happened is actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph, you're saying the man in this costume was the victim? Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But, but wait, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch, however no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops. Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. Well, what? Show us, quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. Now. <laughs> Here. This is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't the size of evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix! Mia? What? Look at that photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. But what? Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? C certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him! There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. Well, the fact is, this clearly isn't Studio One, which is where the murder took place according to the facts as we know them, because there's a gigantic two here, and a smaller two up there. This is Studio Two. So the murder took place in Studio 2. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a 2. Clearly not a 1, Your Honor. Correct. <gasps> I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. I like how I did a gasp there instead of what he actually did. <laughs> but, but... That's impossible. Hmm? Huh? What's all this about? Please explain so I won't be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Here. At Studio 2. I see, that would explain then 2 on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio Two. 
And as you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss Devas were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. For order, order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person the secret security guard Miss Oldbag saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, saw a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or you have proof. Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. I have proof. Y you do? You do, Mr. Wright? Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. You might remember this bottle here of sleeping pills? Well, it has a label that says sleeping pills. Since Mr. Mr. Powers took such a long nap, obviously someone drugged him, alright? And that's how the costume was stolen, so if we examine this bottle and look for, say, fingerprints belonging to Jack Hammer, that might prove something. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pearls. Sleeping pills. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <gasps> Suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for the day. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2, and those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? The homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him, and why? Find the answer to me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth, hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Very well. Court is adjourned. October 19th, 2.47pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Whew! That was a close one. It was saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. M me too. Really? You both seem so so confident. Huh. Maybe I should take up a career in acting? I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D dead? <laughs> of course, we're, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right, thanks. <laughs> And that's the end of that trial segment. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, the final investigation of this of this case, and then after that, the final trial of this case. Pretty exciting. Day three investigation. Get hype.